you've been working out at Fit Club for a little while now, you've dropped a good amount of weight, you've dropped a good amount of body fat, and now you want to focus on building muscle. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to build muscle while doing Fit Club workouts. Now before I go on, make sure you hit that like button so that I know that you're watching these videos and I keep making awesome videos for you to pack on the muscle. Now the first thing you wanna do is start lifting heavier weights. And that's not always easy to do because sometimes you're actually going to peak out on the weights. Now when it comes to reps, you don't wanna waste your time by lifting one heavy weight once. Yes, you will get stronger that way, but it's gonna take you a very long time for you to actually see any type of results. Now the perfect rep range for you to start packing on more muscle is between 10 to 15 reps in a matter of 30 seconds. As you know, the clock goes by Tabata, 30 seconds on, usually about 12 to 15 seconds off. So in that time frame, you wanna be lifting as heavy as possible but making sure that you're counting your reps and you're keeping your reps between 10 and 15. So if you're getting eight, then that means that you're lifting too heavier. So if you're using the pin stacks, you'd simply slide it down one. If you're lifting eight on a chest press and you were doing 35s, then you wanna go down to 30s until you can get 16, 17 reps. And once you get to that 16, 17 reps consistently, then that's when you wanna step it up by one added resistance. So in the case of the dumbbells, we do have half increments. In the case of the pins, you just drop it down one. The bigger the weights get, they go by five. So you would go from 35 to 40, which is a big jump. So you really have to monitor and make sure that you're hitting between that 10 to 15 rep range. The second way to pack on more muscle is to add more reps using the same amount of weight. So I just gave you the example that you wanna to start to hit 16, 17. So that would be your target, is that between that 16, 17 to 20 rep range. So you're taking the same amount of weight, but now you've got to move it faster, which makes your muscles work harder. So you're using the same weight, but you gotta bang out more reps, good reps, in the same amount of time but your goal is to now go higher. So your next goal, if you cannot go higher, so let's say you're bench pressing the 35s and you keep getting stuck around 14, 15 reps. So now, instead of once you hit 15 reps, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna try 40, but then you only get six reps. So what you would do is do the 35 pounders and you would start to make your goal 20 reps for those and you're still going to pack on more muscle because you're challenging the muscles to push the same weight, but you're challenging them to move faster in the same period of time. You can't do this on a longer period of time because it completely changes the stimulus of the muscle. So what do I mean by that? Is that you can't just take the 35s and do 20 reps, but take a minute to do the 20 reps because now it's a whole different type of stimulus for the muscles. You have to keep the time frame the same. You're just gonna move the same weight faster. And the last way, third way, is to take a basic exercise and turn it explosive. So what does that mean? So when it comes to building strength and muscle, I've already given you two methods. The first method is to lift a heavier weight and your goal is to get between 10 and 15 reps. So that's gonna be a steady rate, right? So one, two, three, four. The second one is you're gonna go the same resistance, but you're gonna move that same resistance. Now your goal is to move it faster. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you're gonna take the same weight, but you're going to explode. Boom, two, three, four. Now with chest press, it's a good example, but the best example is squats. So let's say to build strength and muscle, you're now squatting the 60 pound kettlebell. So with the 60 pound kettlebell, you're comfortably getting between 10 and 15 reps, which you're still building muscle. Now you're gonna take that 60 pounder as you get stronger and your goal is to get the 15 to 20. So you're taking the same weight, but now you're moving it faster. Now we're gonna take that 60 pounder and you're gonna get less reps, but you're gonna turn the basic squat into a jump squat holding that 60 pound kettlebell. So right away you're adding resistance and you're adding a plyometrics. That's three different ways that you can stimulate the muscle to not only build strength, to build more size, but you're also gonna build more explosiveness. So as you get further down this journey at Fit Club 
And as you want to change and manipulate your body in many different ways here, then you now have the three methods. You lift the heaviest weight that you can between 10 to 15 reps. Once you can master that rep and that weight doing the 10 to 15 reps, you can then upgrade to moving that same weight but aiming for more reps in the same time. And then the last but not least, the same weight, less reps, but add an explosive component. Now, if you like this video and you're gonna implement this into your next workout, make sure that you give the video a like, maybe even share this because there could be friends that are working out in another gym and they're interested in building muscle. So hit the share button, put it onto your, your Facebook account. And if you're looking for badass workouts, you're looking to get into the best shape of your life and you're a non-member, go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, mention the five days. If you're a member and you're looking to get diced and shredded for your next event, summertime or whatever it is, then mention the belly burn.